The world is watching as China boldly defies the suffocating grip of U.S-imposed sanctions, turning the tables on a global tech landscape once monopolized by Western powers. In a striking act of technological rebellion, China has unveiled homegrown chip-making machines, signaling not just innovation but an audacious move to break free from the chains the U.S. has so tightly wrapped around its neck for decades the West, led by the U.S., has enjoyed an unchecked dominance in the semiconductor industry weaponizing technology and trade to throttle any nation that dared rise, and now that hegemony is under attack. The hypocrisy of U.S. policy stands stark. As Washington preaches global cooperation, it actively sabotages technological progress in nations that refuse to bow to its demands. But China's latest breakthrough and advanced laser-based lithography system might just be the nail in the coffin for the U.S.'s illusion of control. While U.S. officials wave the banner of national security, their real fear is clear a world where they no longer dictate the terms. A world where their grip on power is slipping, stay with us till the end. Because this is a story about global power, hypocrisy, and a tectonic shift that will redefine the tech world as we know it. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. China's recent announcement regarding the breakthrough in domestically developed chip-making machines is sending ripples through global markets. The strategic importance of this technological leap cannot be understated, as it signals China's intent to lessen its dependence on foreign chip manufacturers and challenge the dominance of entities like a SML and TSC. As the Biden administration continues to enforce restrictions on China's access to advanced semiconductor equipment, China appears to be moving forward with its own innovations, signaling a potential shift in the global semiconductor landscape. At the heart of this development is a laser-based immersion lithography system that boasts a resolution of 65 nanometers nm or better, according to a recent report. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology MIAT emphasized that this technology represents a significant step from the previous most advanced equipment developed in China, which was operating at around 90 nm, while this may not seem competitive with the top offerings from global leaders. It's a powerful statement of resilience in the face of Western sanctions. For years, China has been on a quest to achieve self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing, a goal that has become increasingly critical as tensions between China and the U.S. escalate. The Biden administration has focused heavily on restricting China's access to vital semiconductor technologies, viewing the nation's advancements in this sector as a potential threat, threat to global stability. Companies like ASML have been caught in the crossfire of this geopolitical struggle. With export restrictions tightening under U.S. pressure, the Dutch government's decision to expand export licensing requirements for .S.M.L's equipment has added fuel to the fire, leaving China dissatisfied. As it looks to push back against these sanctions as China pushes forward with its 65 NM lithography machines, it's clear that this move is only the beginning. While the current machines may lag behind the extreme ultraviolet UV systems of a SML, which operate at a stunning resolution of 13.5 NM. The fact that China is closing the technological gap is a signal to the rest of the world. China's leaders have long understood the importance of semiconductor manufacturing not just for economic growth, but for national security and technological dominance in fields like AI, as the country continues to innovate in this space. It's likely that Western nations will respond with further sanctions, but how effective these will be remains to be seen. Behind the scenes, government-backed initiatives are driving these technological advancements. The Chinese government's promotion of two homegrown lithography machines, which use deep ultraviolet DUV technology, is a clear indication of how seriously China is taking this challenge. One of the DUV machines operates at a wavelength of 193 nm. With a resolution below 65 nm and an overlay accuracy below 8 nm, these specifications, while not matching the capabilities of a .S.M.L's top offerings, still represent a formidable step forward in China's race towards self-reliance, however. These breakthroughs have not yet translated into market-ready products. The South China Morning Post SCMP reported that while these machines boast intellectual property rights and significant technological advancements, they have yet to prove their worth in real-world applications. This could be due to the immense challenges posed by producing advanced chips at scale challenges that companies like TSMC and ASML have mastered over decades. Despite these limitations, China's progress cannot be dismissed. The nation's relentless pursuit of innovation, driven by its government's strategic vision, is likely to keep Western powers on edge U.S. officials, including those in the Biden administration, have been clear in their assessment that China's semiconductor ambitions pose a challenge to the current global order, 
The imposition of restrictions on companies like ASML is just one part of a broader strategy to curb China's rise as a technological superpower. But China is not backing down. As its leaders continue to push forward with domestic chip-making technologies, they are likely to find ways to circumvent or mitigate the impact of U.S. sanctions already. We are seeing moves within China to enhance its technological prowess through collaborations with local companies and government-backed research and development initiatives. These efforts, coupled with China's vast market and resources, could eventually lead to a semiconductor ecosystem that is independent of Western interference. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm and YouTube. China's determination to reduce its reliance on foreign semiconductor technology is more than just an industrial strategy. It is a critical aspect of the country's broader vision of self-reliance. The Chinese leadership, including President Xi Jinping, has repeatedly stressed the importance of technological independence, particularly in industries that are essential for national security and economic growth. This drive is becoming even more urgent in light of escalating trade tensions with the U.S. As Washington continues to tighten export controls on semiconductor technologies. These controls are seen as part of a broader U.S. strategy to slow China's technological progress, particularly in areas like artificial intelligence, AI, and advanced computing, where semiconductors play a crucial role. The sanctions imposed by the U.S. have forced China to pivot, focusing heavily on domestic innovation. While this path may be slower and fraught with challenges, it is a strategy that could yield significant results in the long term. The recent progress in developing 65 nm lithography machines is just one example of how China is trying to catch up to Western semiconductor giants. Although the country is still behind in terms of cutting-edge technology like extreme ultraviolet UV lithography, which is dominated by Dutch firm ASML, China's resolve to innovate internally cannot be underestimated. One interesting development is the role of government-backed organizations in driving this technological progress. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology (MIE), for example. Has been instrumental in promoting China's domestic chip-making capabilities by backing initiatives that focus on deep ultraviolet UV technology. The MIE is pushing for progress in a field that has traditionally been dominated by Western firms. These efforts are part of a broader industrial policy that seeks to promote homegrown technologies in strategic sectors, from semiconductors to artificial intelligence. The laser-based immersion lithography system recently unveiled by China is a testament to this strategy. And while it may not yet rival the top offerings from ASML or TSMC, it represents a significant step in the right direction. One of the key figures behind China's semiconductor push is Vice Premier Liu He, who has been vocal about the need for technological independence. Liu, a trusted aide of Xi Jinping and a central figure in China's economic planning, has emphasized that the country must overcome what he calls the choke points. In key technologies, these choke points areas where China relies on foreign technologies are seen as vulnerabilities that could be exploited by rival powers. The U.S., in particular, has used its dominance in semiconductor manufacturing to restrict China's access to cutting-edge chips, which are vital for sectors like artificial intelligence and military applications. Liu's efforts to address these vulnerabilities have become even more urgent as U.S. sanctions continue to escalate as China makes progress in its domestic semiconductor industry. The response from the U.S. is likely to be swift. The Biden administration, following in the footsteps of the Trump administration, has made it clear that it views China's technological ambitions as a threat to U.S. national security by restricting China's access to advanced semiconductor equipment. The U.S. aims to slow down the country's progress in fields like artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and autonomous systems, all areas where advanced semiconductors play a crucial role. The imposition of restrictions on companies like ASML is part of a broader U.S. strategy to maintain its technological edge over China. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. But the question remains: How effective will these sanctions be in the long run? While the restrictions may slow down China's progress in the short term, they are unlikely to halt it altogether. In fact, they may even accelerate China's push for self-reliance. As the country doubles down on efforts to develop its own semiconductor technologies, this is evident from the recent breakthroughs in chip-making machines, which, while still behind the most advanced systems on the market, show that China is making tangible progress. China's leaders are also likely to seek ways to work around U.S. sanctions. In recent years, Chinese companies have been forging partnerships with firms in other parts of the world, including Europe and Asia, to gain access to crucial technologies. While these partnerships may not completely offset the impact of U.S. restrictions, 
they could help China to continue its technological development. Furthermore, China's vast internal market provides a strong incentive for domestic companies to innovate, as they have a ready customer base for their products, in addition to promoting domestic innovation. China is also looking to diversify its supply chains. The country's dependence on foreign-made semiconductors has long been seen as a strategic vulnerability, and recent events have only highlighted this issue by developing its own chip-making machines. China hopes to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers, particularly in the context of ongoing geopolitical tensions. The recent announcement of the laser-based lithography system is just one example of how China is working to strengthen its supply chains in the semiconductor industry. Another figure at the forefront of China's semiconductor strategy is Xi Jinping himself, under Xi Jinping and Xi Jinping's leadership. The Chinese government has placed a heavy emphasis on technological innovation as a cornerstone of the country's future development. Xi has repeatedly called for China to become a global leader in cutting-edge technologies including semiconductors, artificial intelligence, and 5G networks. His administration has allocated billions of dollars in funding to support domestic research and development in these areas. As part of a broader effort to make China a global tech powerhouse, however, the road ahead will not be easy for China. The semiconductor industry is one of the most complex and capital-intensive industries in the world, requiring vast amounts of investment and expertise, while China has made progress in developing its own chip-making technologies. It still faces significant hurdles in catching up to the likes of ASML and TSMC. The advanced machines machines produced by these companies are the result of decades of research and development, and replicating their capabilities will take time moreover. The semiconductor supply chain is highly globalized, with different parts of the manufacturing process taking place in different countries. This means that even if China can produce its own chip-making machines, it will still need access to certain foreign technologies and components, for example. The UV lithography machines produced by ASML rely on specialized components from multiple countries, including the US and Japan. Securing access to these components will be a key challenge for China as it seeks to develop its own semiconductor industry. Thank you for your attention and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now and I will see you on the other side.